Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. It is November 8, 2019. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, and we all cross the finish line together. First article of interest. IBBC delegation meets Iraqi president. 8 November 2019 Baghdad. IBBC President Baroness Nicholson and MD Christophe Michels, Razmi Al Jabri, IBBC Deputy Chairman and Mohanad Al Qa'ata Baghdad Office Manager, met this week with the President Dr. Baram Sali and a range of government of Iraq ministers and business leaders. The team updated the President on the work of IBBC and its members in Iraq. There followed wide ranging discussions on current affairs in Iraq and internationally. The president was delighted to see IBBC in Baghdad in these challenging times and complimented the organization for its ongoing and very effective work. He said that he was willing to support IBBC fully whenever required. Additional meetings included the chief of justice Fake Zidin, to follow up on his recent visit to London when IBBC hosted him, and to discuss the legal framework in Iraq and current affairs. Dr. Sami al Araji head of the National Investment Commission, Nick, also agreed to plan future regular joint activities in Baghdad as the situation returns to normal. Further meetings included civil society activist Mrs. Hanna to understand the many reasons for the protests and the latest news from Tahir Square and around the country. IBBC expressed sympathy for the movement and discussed ways in which the protest movement could succeed in some of its demands without facing a full confrontation with the security forces. At the U.S. Ambassador Dealer's residence, the ambassador, guests and ambassadors from Canada and Australia and John Tucknot UK Deputy Head of Mission, discussed the work of IBBC and how to strengthen collaboration with the U.S., Canada and Australia, to support the private sector. IBBC is widely recognized as being the most successful trade council in Iraq. Next article of interest. IMF. World debt hit a record $188 trillion. 2214, 7th November 2019. Global debt has reached record levels minus $188 trillion, or 230% of global GDP, the International Monetary Fund. IMF. Director Kristalina Georgieva said Thursday. Global debt, both public and private, has reached a record high minus $188 trillion, Georgieva said in a speech today in Washington at the 20th Annual Conference of the Economic Research Forum. This represents about 230% of global production. Georgieva's predecessor, Christina Lagarde, noted a year ago that global debt stood at $182 trillion. She called on the world's governments to do everything in their power to curb this indicator, because the global economy is slowing its growth, and securing payments will be more and more difficult. Next article of interest. Plascart responds to its accusation of bias and stresses. The United Nations is a partner for every Iraqi trying to change. 7 November 2019-1951 Baghdad the representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations in Iraq, Janine Hens Blachart, on Thursday, to accusations against her bias in relation to the demonstrations. In response to the accusations of bias, we say that the United Nations is the partner of every Iraqi trying to change, she said in a tweet on her Twitter account. With their unity. Iraqis can transform their country into a better place and we are here to provide the necessary support. Is over. Next article of interest. al Baldawi, any alternative personality to Abdul Mahdi, will not find a consensus between the blocs and political parties. 0954, 8 November 2019. The MP of the Conquest Alliance Mohammed al Baldawi, on Friday, that any alternative figure to Adel Abdul Mahdi will not find consensus between the blocs and political parties, pointing out that the people do not need to compete with the blocs, but to find solutions to the problems they suffer. Al Baldawi said in a statement to the information that any new personality will be an alternative to Abdul Mahdi, it will not find acceptance or agreement by the blocs and political parties. 
he added that the people do not need to compete or defend the bloc's words, but there must be acts in service and reform of the Iraqi people. He pointed out that the solution to the current crisis lies in finding a way through which to link the existing popular system with the government with specific commitments and schedules and follow-up and the development of guarantees for the implementation of reforms. He explained that the problem today is not a minister or a general manager, but the chaos in the country, what should work the committee called for by the reference, with the need to be far from any party and political in working with the government to find the desired solution and you in monitoring. Next article of interest. Economist. The government condemned itself by declaring the size of the losses due to the closure of the port of Umkazer. 1030-11-08-2019 Economic expert Osama al-Tamimi said on Friday that the government condemned itself and put many questions about its statements about Iraq's losses due to the closure of the port of Umkazer and other institutions during the demonstrations. Tamimi said in a statement to the information that the border outlets are controlled by political parties where their revenues are divided according to specific ratios between those parties. He added that the government's announcement of the size of the losses due to the closure of the port of Umkazer and other institutions since the start of the demonstration confirms that the amount of funds in Iraq much larger than the government announced in the budget, and therefore the size of corruption is very large and fictitious amounts are not mentioned. He explained that the government condemned itself when it announced the magnitude of the losses and showed the truth of the amounts in Iraq, while the budget represents a fraction of these amounts, which go mostly to the corrupt, what requires the prime minister to be honest with the people and declare the corrupt names that capture the amounts of Iraq. Next article of interest. Is the prime minister of Iraq French or Iraqi or Iranian? Friday, 8th November 2019. The Almighty said in Surat al-Baqarah 11-12, And if they were told not to corrupt in the land they said, But we are reformers, but they are spoilers, but they do not feel. Congratulations to the revolutionaries of Iraq and Lebanon. Khamenei's word, defeat, the guide of misguidance once tastes, but admitting it more bitterly, be confident that you will dare from the cup of poison that your predecessor Khomeini. Speech by Iraqi Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, perhaps if you presented the Iraqis as much as you did to Iran, your position would have been a little better. We will provide the Iraqi and Arab people with a statement of account of what Abdul Mahdi has given to Iran, and compare it with what he has given to Iraq. But before we get into the subject, we have three questions for Najaf's reference regarding the selection of the current Prime Minister. 1. Did you miss the supreme authority that Adel Abdul Mahdi was a fighter in the ranks of the Badr terrorist corps, and fought the Iraqi army during the Iran-Iraq war, without a doubt that the one who fights the Iraqis cannot pity them or care for their lives and their fate, it is not surprising to order his troops to fire live on the Tishreen rebels, has he ever fired on the former Iraqi army, is the agent of a foreign country working for his country or the country that recruited him. Two. Why has the authority renounced its slogan, the experimenter does not try, is it assumed the presidency of two ministries and the vice president of the republic and had a leading role in the Supreme Council and participated in the drafting of the constitution and drafted the so-called oil licenses through which Iraqi oil is not tried, you reference Najaf very rational. 3. It was one of your conditions for the presidency of the government to bear the specific qualities to be firm, courageous, just and honest. Isadel Abdul Mahdi has these qualities. Let the questions revolve in the orbit of the void, because the reference cannot dare to answer them. Now let us go into the heart of the matter, and begin with the achievements of Adel Abdul Mahdi to Iran. Note that we do not use the so-called Islamic Republic of Iran, because this designation reaps and insults to Islam, and Islam is innocent of this mold system. 1. Adel Abdul Mahdi exempted Iranian visitors from entry fees to Iraq, causing a loss of millions of dollars at a time when Iraq is in dire financial deficit. 2. Overlook the theft of Iraqi oil by the Iranian regime in the border wells, including Majnoon fields, 
a novel deformulated by the Iranian agent Baker so lay under the name, joined oil wells, and the truth is not shared, but one party is Iran. 3. The dumping of the Iraqi market with the Iranian goods of poor manufacture, expired and corrupt, and Iranian exports to Iraq for example in 2006, 6, billion dollars, while Iraq's exports to Iran did not exceed, 60, million dollars. Iranian exports to Iraq in 2018 amounted to 13 billion dollars, and Abdul Mahdi concluded economic agreements with Rouhani to increase Iranian exports to 20 billion dollars annually. 4. Abdul Mahdi abdicated to the Iranian regime on the rights of Iraq in the Shat al Arab, and many political analysts revealed the loss of Iraq in the agreement concluded by Abdul Mahdi with Rouhani during his recent visit to Iraq. 5. Adel Abdul Mahdi strengthened the deep state headed by General Qasim Soleimani, and the membership of Fela Fayyad, Nuri al Maliki, Muqtada al Sadr, Abu Mahdi al Mohans, K. al Khazali. Hadi al Amiri and other dwarfs mandate jurisprudence. 6. Undercutting Iraq's sovereignty by allowing thousands of Iraqi Revolutionary Guards to disembark under the pretext of protecting Iranian visitors at the Ashura ceremony. So, what is the duty of 1 million Iraqi soldiers and police? 7. Allow control of state land, sea and air, Najaf and Basra airport, militias of the Wilayat al Fakian seize their revenues. 8. Silence about money laundering and allowing the smuggling of hundreds of millions of dollars a day to Iran and Lebanon through the auction of suspicious central bank and Islamic banks affiliated to the Revolutionary Guard. 9. The smuggling of Iranian oil by ships carrying the Iraqi flag. The government has already revealed the scandal of the Iraqi ship carrying Iranian oil. 10. Dodging and circumventing U.S. sanctions against the Iranian regime by importing Iranian gas and electricity exclusively from Iran, without looking for an alternative, with the availability of alternatives at competitive prices. 11. Overlook the offensive statements of the Iranian regime's staff against the sovereignty of Iraq and its people such as the statement of the Iranian ambassador, Masyadi, in Baghdad that U.S. interests in Iraq will be targeted by the Iranian regime in the event of war between the United States and his regime. Khomeini called the demonstrators rioters and agents of America and Israel, and described Muhammad Ali Mohadi, imam and preacher Tehran, Khomeini's advisor, the demonstrators in Iraq as English Shiites. 12. Linking Iraqi foreign policy with Iran, departing from the Arab and international consensus in any resolution condemning the Iranian regime, and choosing a minister of Iranian origin as the foreign minister. Hakim is not a clan but a profession to one of their ancestors, they belong to the clan Isfahani. 13. Make Iraq an economic outlet for Iran, so that Iraq has become the main consumer of Iranian goods on the one hand, and the passage of Iranian goods to Syria and Lebanon on the other. 14. Adel Abdul Mahdi implemented the Iranian regime's plan to kill the agricultural and industrial sectors, and to wipe out the national production. None of the factories destroyed by the occupation, new factories attracting Iraqi labor, or investments in the gas, electricity, industry and agriculture sectors were built. On the contrary, the wealth was poisoned and millions of fish died. Thousands of dunams of farmland were burned days before harvest, and epidemics that killed thousands of tons of Iraqi chickens were spread for the purpose of promoting Iranian goods. 15. Abdul Mahdi cover up Iran's export of drugs to Iraq and cheaply, and claimed that the drugs come from Argentina and not Iran, and became a laughing stock to the Iraqis this claim, and today Iraqis rarely talk about him and call Iran, Argentina. 16. In a ridiculous attempt, Adel Abdul Mahdi accused the PMOI of bombing the PMF depots with weapons and ammunition with missiles and drones, in a ridiculous and scandalous attempt to offend the organization opposed to the repress of Iranian regime. We will be satisfied with this amount, and review what Adel Abdul Mahdi has given Iraqis. 1. The lifting of concrete from Iraqi streets and the Green Zone 
and returned to their positions, but extended it further distances in new places after the Great Iraqi Revolution on the 1st of October. 2. Violation of the Iraqi Constitution to prevent the right to demonstrate and communicate in circulation of information, by cutting off the Internet and disrupting life, and incur the state budget losses of millions of dollars a day, on the private sector companies, and estimated losses, $1.358 billion, according to the estimate, net blocks, during the month last October. 3. Hiding the mouths, assassinating, arresting and abducting activists, attacking satellite TV stations that carried live images of demonstrations, stealing the contents of their headquarters, and destroying what could not be stolen. 4. The use of excessive violence by the security forces against peaceful demonstrators, and the outcome was more than 10,000 Iraqis between the dead, disabled and wounded. Note that in the wars of countries that did not result in such losses, the human losses in the Falklands War, for example, 1,717 people between dead and wounded. We are talking about a state of war between two states, not peaceful demonstrations, and about military casualties, not civilians. 5. Continuous lying from the first day he took office, from the lie of opening the electronic window to appoint ministers and ending lying about issuing resolutions banning the use of live ammunition against demonstrators. Every day, Iraqi blood is shed by security forces and state militias. 6. To exacerbate the problem of poverty, hunger, unemployment, lack of health, educational and service services, proliferation of arms outside the state, submission to the will of state militias, and promotion of tribalism, nationalism and sectarianism. More articles of interest to come. Don't forget to hit that like and the subscribe button and check out the SEP Currency Exchange Planner. The link is in the description panel below. Make sure to tell them that Denarian sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. I encourage you. Knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now. The Denarian.